one more frustration for restaurants which have been hit hard by this pandemic and they want more people to turn out. Christian Garzon reporting now on the effort to get shots into the arms of food service workers. It's a big frustration for them. Uh, Maureen, yes. When it comes to vaccinating restaurant workers here in the county, County Executive Adam Bellow says this is in no way a reflection of the need. The need is definitely there. It comes down to supply, a common theme we're seeing across the nation right now. The county gets about 15 to 1,800 vaccines per week. Bellow says if we could vaccinate everyone tomorrow, they would do it. But Bellow adds there are already tens of thousands of workers who are eligible to receive the vaccine now, but again, Again, that supply is limited. Now, expanding the shots and giving restaurant workers doses is something they are looking at. Chuck Formoso, the owner of Lucano's on East Dev, says the supply is what it is right now. Not much we can do but wait. Dr. Michael Mendoza, the public health commissioner, says he's hoping we get to a point where we can vaccinate thousands of people per day in the county. When we're going to get there, though, we just don't know yet. They're doing essential workers and others and evaluating expanding doses week to week. We talk about the essential workers, you know. All workers are essential at some level. The question really is eligibility. And that eligibility is driven uh, in first uh, measure by the CDC. They have set out the guidelines that the state health department has tried to adhere to. Um, and in general, we're doing that uh, re relatively well. Um, but again, there's no perfect way to do it. And uh, right now we just don't have the vaccine. And I think the idea of, of restaurant workers in general is, is definitely a plus because maybe because of the, they let us have the vaccines, then maybe they'll let us open up 100%, which would be very, very nice. So that way, and people, I think, in general, will feel much more comfortable about coming in. Now, Dr. Mendoza did add on that reluctance some feel on going out to eat. Well, he says he goes out to eat and is reassured by what he sees, people wearing masks and the distancing and the sanitation. Uh, he feels if we keep this all up outside the house, our COVID numbers can continue to come down. In Rochester, Christian Garzon, News 8, Adam Marine, back to you.